Hey YouTube, Audio Olympian here bringing the sound and video to you today, coming to you from the Coliseum. Okay, today's video is a new revised version of how to connect an external amplifier to a receiver that doesn't have pre-outs. But before we get into the video, we want to thank all the new subscribers. We're really coming up close to our uh, thousand subscriber mark, so we're going to have a giveaway uh, just to show our appreciation for all the support over the past few years here. Thank you guys. And if you find this video helpful or even just entertaining, if you could hit that like button, we'd really appreciate that. Okay, so I wanted to do a revised version, 2021 version, of uh, one of my more popular videos on my channel is how to connect an external amplifier to a receiver without pre-outs. Um, I'm going to link that video down in the description below. If you want to go and watch that one first, feel free to go and do so. But what I wanted to do in this video here was give a better schematic, a little bit more detail, show a little bit more step-by-step uh, -step of how you do this here, and clear up some of the confusion that I probably left on the last video, uh, according to a lot of the comments that I get here. So let's get into the video. Okay, first thing that you're going to need and I talk about this in the first video here, is you're gonna need the Rust Sound Adapters. So I'm also gonna um, timeline this video here down in the description. So if you wanna skip forward or past certain spots here, you can jump to those scenes where it'll hopefully answer any of the questions that you might have there. Part of the reason this comes up is because we still are happy with our old equipment, we just wanna have a little bit more power to it. So that's why I'm doing this video here in a little bit more detail. So the first thing that you're gonna need is that adapter, which is right here. This is what it looks like. Plain old regular speaker wire and RCA cables. Okay, so first I wanted to show, if you do have a receiver that has pre-outs on it, as you can see on this one right here, it says pre-out. And then you'll see it has it labeled front, subwoofer, center, and surrounds. This is fine. This is actually um, capable of adding external amplifiers. So I could use that and hook up um, extra amplification if I want more power on this receiver here. But if your receiver doesn't have that, that's what we're going to look at today. Okay, so now here is the back. Um, you can see all the connections here on my Ankyo. There isn't anything for external amplification. You can see I just got component videos. Uh, inputs here and then I have for a phone, well actually there's the phone right there, CD, TV, game, PC, um, cable box, STRM box, not sure what that one is, and then a BD, DVD, right, Blu-ray disc, DVD player. So those are all my audio connections in. And then I have my speaker connections over here. This is a seven channel amplifier. This is my uh, Emotiva XPA 200, which is a two-channel amp, uh, 150 watts per channel, so a 300-watt total uh, amplifier. So the way you would connect this to a receiver traditionally is you just take your RCA cables, red to red, white to white, for right and left, and then I would connect that to the receiver over here in a pre-out section. Again, we don't have a pre-out section here, which is why we're gonna use the adapter. Okay, but traditionally I would connect this into the pre-out section, and then your speaker cable would go uh, connect here from the speaker outputs into your speakers, which I don't have any hooked up right now. We will show that in a little bit. Okay, now onto the solution, problem solving. So I wanna connect an amplifier, but I don't have the capabilities on my receiver as we shown earlier. So here comes the Rust Sound adapter here. And I believe these were still selling on eBay is where I got mine. Uh, I wanna say maybe around 40 bucks, brand new. And you can see really all it is is a internal crossover speaker level to line level interface is what it says right there. Basically, this is the same thing that would be inside of this had this had pre-outs to it. So what it does is it bypasses the speaker itself and goes right to the RCA connection, all right? But since we don't have it inside, this is an external one. So you can kind of think of it like uh, the same concept of an external hard drive for a computer. 
So now, those connect into here. Okay, so we hooked it up. Now, the way you connect this to the receiver is you just use plain old speaker wire. Now these connections here, these connectors are quite little. I'm trying to get a good close up shot for you guys there. So I believe this is just your average 16 gauge speaker wire that I used here. Again, one adapter is for two channels, so one adapter is stereo, which is good and convenient. I'm glad they did it that way and not raked it in for everybody doing one speaker for one channel. Then you'd have to have you know a bunch of these if you want to have multiple um, amplifiers and speakers connected for like a 5.1, 7.1, or even more. They did two for two, so that was good. Um, or two for one, I should say. So now I got my speaker cable connected in here. Then from here, I take the speaker wire and plug it into my front. Oops, right here. Front left and front right. Now I'm using the banana clips here just so that it makes it easier to connect in there. You can have your setup however you want to have it and how you like it. You can use regular speaker wire, unscrew the terminal. You know how most of these work here. Unscrew the terminal and then stick the plain old speaker wire right in that opening here. And then tighten it back down. Right, you can use that setup if you want that way too. Again, you're gonna have to use pretty minimal speaker wire here because of the openings on these um, inputs here are pretty, pretty small. But it still works. Okay, so now I actually do have it hooked up. So from my front here to the adapter, RCA output coming in through here go into the input on the, res on the amplifier. Okay, now the next step, I'm gonna connect the speaker. So I would take these here, I'm just using, um, these are monoprice speaker cable, I believe they were um, 10 gauge speaker cable. Pretty, pretty inexpensive, but they sound really good, good quality, and they look okay. So I would take this here, plug it in as you do in your speaker. So I'm trying to do this while looking at the looking through the camera as well. Okay, there we go. The under, other end of that is going to go here into the amplifier. Like that. So quick overview. Speaker wire coming out of the receiver into the adapter, RCA cable coming out of the adapter into the amplifier, speaker cable coming out of the amplifiers and into the speaker. And that is your whole setup for one stereo. Now we have it powered up here and we're gonna check out some music just so that you guys can hear the sound a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna do some um, no copyright or copyright free music here just so I don't get flagged on my video at all. But one of the questions that people had was, once I have this all connected, can I still use my receiver to control the volume and the sound? And the answer is yes. Let's check it out here. Got left channel over here. Now I chose the Elax Unify UB5s because these are a four ohm speaker. It's a really good sounding speaker, but you do need um, some good power to be able to push these. So I'm gonna turn it up a little bit just so you can see that it works well and it doesn't distort. You can see everything is still connected. And the adapter can handle quite a good load of, mu of power.
Last thing I wanted to cover here was a question that I often get is, can I use this for multiple channels? And yes, you can. So I've hooked up two of them right now. So here was the original first one that we hooked up. And then I just hooked up the second one for the surround speakers. And it works exactly the same. Take the speaker cable into the adapter, RCA cables out. Now I don't have that hooked up into an amplifier. I would just had this kind of set up here to show you really quick that you can hook up multiple channels. Now, if you have a 5.1 or 7.1, uh, I'll just take the 5.1 right now. You will need three adapters. Again, the adapters are stereo, so they do handle two channels. However, if you're only running a 5.1, and I didn't hook this one up because it, it'll start getting a little sloppy, I think, and hard to, kind of hard to manage and see, which will defeat the purpose of the video for you guys. But even this one, I, I pulled all this out apart from my working system, this exact working system, except for the amplifier that I had was, a, was my um, Sunfire um, Cinema Grand 5 amplifier, which is a five-channel amp. But... Everything hooks up exactly the same, and you are fine using one for the center channel on one of the adapters. You can just always have this extra channel left over. Now, in the event you have a uh, system and you do want to do a 6.1, um, then you can hook up, you know, obviously all six speakers there. But I was only running five channels in my bedroom system and my five channel amplifier. So you are totally fine just using one end for your center channel, the other one for your front mains, and then your surrounds here. So three adapters, they all hook up the same way. But again, you will need an amplifier that is going to have more channels or you're going to need more amplifiers. Okay, so hope that helped clear some things up for you guys. Again, these are a great, great um, adapter and a nice find that I, that I found on eBay. Uh, if you're looking to add some more power, but you really don't want to put a huge, huge uh, dent in that pocketbook and you like your current equipment, this could be a great solution for you. Again, these are about 40 bucks each. So for three of them to run a full, to run a 5.1 system <coughs> or a 6.1, excuse me, um, about 120 bucks right there. And if you wanted more, seven speaker, nine speaker system, whatever it is, um, then you would just add more adapters and I'm sure it would be fine with your system. All right, so that's all we got for our video today. Thanks for watching, guys. Again, remember to um, subscribe to the channel. We have our giveaway coming up here pretty soon for a thousand uh, subscribers. We're passing that chasm here really soon. We're about 45 days away. want to thank everybody for the support and we'll see you guys on the next video.